slow everyone else going. So in this video, I wanted to show you how to make this exact scene. I will be trying to make it as concise and fast as possible while being very simple to follow along. So no crazy techniques here, nothing fancy. We will be using Blender 3.6 and a bunch of free and paid assets. So as always, you can find them down below in the description. And if this interests you, you feel free to download the model and follow along. This is the model which we have downloaded from the SketchUp warehouse made by Rachel D. As always, link down below. I have changed it a bit to work for our purpose. The materials from SketchUp don't usually work, right? And you have to play around with the import settings such as Collada and uh, SketchUp Importer, which is a free add-on. Now, the texturing was mostly done very fast and lazy using the Blender Kit add-on. So, as you can see, I have added a wood material, a plaster material, and made my own very simple shaders with practically no details at all. So, as you can see, we can have oftentimes a lot of funky normal effects from the SketchUp warehouse models, which is why we're going to add the weighted normal modifier and make sure to have keep sharp enabled. Now, sometimes you might need to play around with the bevel if you have that as well. You know, it might not work with the bevels as good, but usually it just fixes it, the problem. Now, for the materials, make sure to reapply materials. As you can see, all of these ones are from the Blender Kit add-on. Feel free to get them from any of the sites that I will link down below and from your own sites. So I am just using some simple imperfections in this uh, type of black plaster slash metal material. And as you can see in front of you, I am now separating the meshes and the faces based on the material by pressing P and separate by material. If you want to select materials with the same exact uh, materials, just search select linked and go ahead and do select linked by material. And you know, the mesh from SketchUp usually comes with weird materials. So these tips will help you a lot. Now for the curb, get your curb from SketchFab. I have gotten mine from uh, Megascans. Now there are always free ways to get them like the ones I have shown you in front of you or just simply make them. You know, they're a very simple cube and it's mostly a bevel and some displacement which makes them look okay. Now, as you can see, I'm just playing around with them, right? Nothing crazy. I'm not worried too much about their repetition. It's fine in this case. We probably won't notice it anyways. And as you could see, we have a pretty nice curve. Now let's add our road. Our road would be probably around 14 to 12 meters in width. And just make sure that it's perfectly colliding with our curves to, as to not have any floating curves. And add a simple material, which I have linked down below as well. So look through that. All of these are free. The textures that I have shown you, all of them are free. So feel free to use any of them that you have. I personally will use some ones that I have purchased from Evermotion. It's not necessarily a texture, but more of a model collection that I have uh, bought from Evermotion for 3ds Max. But you know, every now and then I use the textures inside of a blender regardless. Just the regular PBR workflow, you know, a roughness map and a normal map as well. Make sure that the UVs are set up correctly. In this case, it's a plane, so a simple unwrap or project from you would be more than enough. Rotate it until it kind of makes sense, you know, and make sure to be visualizing it from the camera view, which we will add in a minute. Now, what I like to do is add a loop and get it slightly upwards on the Z axis and bevel so we don't have a perfectly even road right so add your camera make sure that it's on a height of 1.5 up to 1.7 meters with a focal length of around 24 roughly 
which is what I usually use for Xeroes. You know, it gives some nice stretching and it works relatively good for exteriors and interiors alike. Now, what I will be doing is slightly a changement from the thumbnail image, which is I will create a nice foreground by simply duplicating these these curves and uh, and taking a snapshot of uh, vertices from our actual uh, garden terrain for the simple fact that it will help me when scattering so I don't have to scatter on multiple objects. Now let's work on our lighting which is super simple as well. We will be going back in a minute and working on it a bit more. But my favorite way of lighting my exterior scenes is just using the sky texture and probably just coupling it with a couple of other lights and uh, maybe an HDRI or image for the uh, view of right. I believe, I'm not sure what, it's, what we can call it here. Play with the rotation, play with the ozone, play with the altitude and make sure to have AGX on. Filmic looks okay, but I feel like AGX is way better. I am even starting to replace ACES by using AGX because it's way easier to work with. You don't have to think about the maps, you don't have to prepare anything. AGX just does all of the work for you. Working in sRGB and AGX does like a very nice effect. So make sure to always watch out for your values, which is I have done here and make the exposure more reliable at around minus two. Now at this point, it's time to start by adding our environment. So I will start by adding some grass on our grassy terrain garden. I'm using the grass blade biome pack for G scatter. I will link down some free alternative as well, so don't worry by any means. Now as you could see, our uh, type of uh, terrain that we have added by duplicating these two vertices were inverted, which is why Alt N and flip, and that will fix that. So make sure to have also cam optimization with some FOV addition, so we don't have any ugly cutoff. Now our grass looks okay, it can be way better. You can get some free grasses, you can get some better grasses from like mega scans, but these ones are good enough for the job. Now at this point, let's start by adding some more uh, hedges as well as some trees. So start by these hedges from the botanic pattern. As always, use your own. Make your own. You know, when I was starting with Blender a couple of years ago, I have made exclusively my own tree, so I haven't like used any tree assets until I have started to use different softwares and I found out about Max Tree and Evermotion. So feel free to make your own or buy some. By buying some, you know, you're getting better quality, usually for the most part, unless you really know what you're doing and you are supporting someone else. There are no rules really here. So it's just a matter of looking at reference. You know, in this case, this scene might be lacking a bit, you know, com in comparison to my other scenes that I have up on my website or on my uh, commercial project, as well as my personal ones. For the simple fact that in this one, I didn't really use in reference to look at, and I was just, you know, working by imagination. And it's obviously a job that took around 40 minutes to make in the first time. Now I get a lot of questions. I will be talking over this while you see the process of adding these vegetations, which is very boring. I get it, but you know, it's fun if you're the, if you're the one doing it. So please download the model and try it for yourself. You know, it's very nice to work with. Many people ask me why I am not making tutorials about scenes that I have made. So there are like two main reasons. The first one, most of them will take substantially longer. And, you know, as a person, I like to show the process from A to Z. Now, this is important. I will come back to my point in a second. Add some house context. Now, most of the beginner visualizations that I see, you know, floating around, they usually have no environment context. So it's just a house in the middle of nowhere you know even if it's like a villa in the suburbs 
you can't really see any buildings on the side you just see a bunch of trees you know as if it's an overgrown area now what i'd like to do is make a whole environment around you know even in front of the house behind the camera where we can see to cast some nice shadows as well as to reflect if we have a glass facade on our building now as you could see i'm just adding some trees coming back to what i was saying the reason why i'm not doing these scenes that you can see on my instagram or on my uh, website www.artturnavision.studio is for the simple fact that they take substantially longer to make and i will have to start by doing a form of uh, series which at this point you know it will probably just hurt the reach of my channel so please bear with me i promise i will be making some really good videos i'm just trying at this point to make some beginner friendly videos right to get people familiar with me and familiar with the channel as well as bender so if you don't uh, know at this point most of my following is made off of architects right based on the analytics so I'm trying to introduce the architectural world, which is mostly 3ds Max dominant and Corona dominant, to Blender and Cycles. It's an amazing tool for architecture. Yes, I do use 3ds Max and Corona and V-Ray for my main uh, commercial work at this point, but it's mostly the sake of familiarity and the amount of assets accumulated during a long period of time so in the future hopefully i might be switching fully to blender for work but you know until that time i'm just trying to familiarize everyone with this amazing piece of free software very cheap assets right and very nice assets as well now as you can see you know while i'm just mumbling around we could already see that we have a very very nice result image in less than 15 minutes without the time lapse and around 20 minutes yeah, around 20 minutes without the time lapse. So, you know, at this point, the more details you put in, the more time you spend, the more gardening and landscaping you do, the better it will look. Feel free to add humans walking around, you know, make sure to blur them. Please, for God's sake, if you don't have a good model, you know, and most CGI 3D scans of people look horrible, don't show them, just blur them. Now, at this time i don't really like this sky clear blue so i will just add a hdri which is called i believe road to uh yeah road asphalt from the uh, pole haven hdri haven that will add it give it add a background in between and give it a pretty strong strength of around eight Make sure that your exposure didn't change. And play with the rotation until it kind of matches the current lighting that you have. So in my case, I believe like around 260, 240 maybe. Why just for the sake of clouds to look natural, right? We won't be using the lighting, so don't worry. You know the lighting is a bit dull and the shadows aren't as rich, while as the color isn't as rich. We just want to see it as an override now go ahead and add a mix shader in between these two so as you can see mix shader plug the add a light path node and in camera ray to mix the lighting so basically we get the lighting from our sky texture as and we take a override look from our hdri Feel free to play around with its curves, right? Add in RGB curves in between. And at this point, you have a very nice result in, I don't know, like a marathonical time. Very fast, very fun. You could add humans. I also added a car, right, in my image. It's free. Just type Audi in the Blender Kit add-on. And you will get this free model, you know, play around with its materials if you want add the humans add some more details please add some more details you know this took me around 30 minutes you know so if you spend another one hour on it you know imagine how good it would look you have a lot of assets without even going out of blender so you could download some of these i will be doing that in in front of you right now 
you know, usually I like a remotion asset. So I'm working on translating my own previously owned uh, 3ds max assets to evermotion i do believe they offer some blender models at, at this point but yeah feel free to add any assets that you have feel free to model right for archviz i don't imagine people modeling everything from scratch you know it kind of defies the point of making it uh, uh fast right so in general we have a very nice image in no time practically feel free to play around with this and you know, as we are nearing the end of this video, feel free to subscribe if you have liked the video, we'll be coming with more soon. Follow me on Instagram, right? Join our Discord if you have any questions. And you know, if you have any thoughts, drop them down below. And until next time, take care and enjoy yourselves.